Good evening, good people, and welcome to Game 3 of our Winter Tournament Finals, the Winter Robot Wars Chaos Swing X. I am Saracen, I'm joined in the booth by Luffy DV. Luffy, how are you? Oh, Saracen, I can think of no better way to spend my Tuesday evening than watching the finals, the Game 3, everything on the line, Fry Teeth versus Pickles and Beer, poetic why don't we get a black belt again for game three let's go <laughs> <laughs> not just a black belt all right so this this party is cracked dude it's pretty good right <laughs> so this fighter has plus 10 percent hit in telly magic yep what yeah yeah relevant fighter here with the black belt sitting there black belt pretty good itself resist fire time and earth magic so we were talking about some of the things it's going to be able to avoid a little bit of crack a little bit of zap pretty good and also gets heal magic so black belt with life what <laughs> this is disgusting already mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right now it's going to slow down a little bit the white mage has plus 800 starting gold and plus 10 strength it's a white mage but you have money all yeah. right that's pretty cool not bad, not bad. Black Mage bonus, Hurt Dragon, sure. Uh, plus 10 M Def though, pretty good. Uh, anytime I get a mage that gets an additional bit of magic defense, I like to see that. It's not the best blessing, but it's something that I can definitely work with. So this, um, this could be a very interestingly divergent set of, of runs here because Pickles is not a huge fan of the black belt. He would much prefer the fighter generally. Mm -hmm. Fry Teeth, known black belt expert, but he has been leaning thief fighter for this tournament specifically. Right. Um, this this could be very interesting, and it, especially it, with the blurses the way they are. Yeah, it really can be for sure. Um, Fry Teeth, like you said, black belt aficionado has been getting. They've done this party themselves three times in a row. They've forced themselves a party, and each time it's given them a black belt. One time it gave them two. So it just, black belts are not really what you wanted to see in this flag set, but Fry Teeth of everybody, because of who he is, has shown us how to make them work. And that's why he is where he is. Absolutely. And Fry Teeth, just generally a scary runner, but Pickles also just very solid runner all around. Both of these guys, phenomenal competitors. Yeah, Pickles, um, champion in his own right, has won Fall League with my team, has won Speed Gaming Live himself, like, knows what he's doing, no secret and no surprise that he's here. Um, we got a great matchup tonight. I'm excited to see it. Um, I was hoping to be a part of this, and I'm glad I could be here sharing it with you. And here we are. A little bit of desync, but we're going to get that figured out, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, as our runners are getting off to the races, doing the party jiggle dance. <laughs> because we got to get our party in the correct order and find out what this magic is. Uh, heal 2. It's fine. Cure I mean, 2 is desperation. You... Sure. Cure 2 just feels bad, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you know? Oh, oh, hi. But, but nuke. <laughs> yeah, but nuke. The only sadness is we only have one caster of it. Yeah, and it will stay that way. You're not getting any replacements. Uh, mm -hmm. Houses are relatively expensive. Heal potions were not. 15 gold heals are pretty decent. Right. Some pretty decent plus ma um, weapons there in the shop. A couple plus ones, twos. I mean, you know, it's something for that fighter to swing. I noticed the wood armor plus three on Pickle's side, too, which is nice to see. That's uh, just a little bit of absorb for your frontliners is nice mm -hmm. early in the game where, you know, spiders can be whatever <laughs> we are seeing what looks like two very fast encounters off the hard reset which could play very well into that black belt as we get a bridge in our first box early bridge is always like you know it's good to see but like you can see the bridge in these flags you know never sometimes so to see an early one oh early ribbon okay yeah. that, that added security right there that we were talking about a little bit so there you go so that Man, that makes me really want to lean into that black belt just a little bit more because it has life. Yeah, yeah, agreed. And, you know, you brought up the point of the uh, quick encounters off the hard reset. The desert grind has been a thing in these finals. You know, we've seen Fry Teeth do that several times now to take his levels there. So two fast encounters is going to open that wide up. I can't wait to see when we get over there. We get a canal and a ruby from the Royals. Okay. 
They are not incentivized, but man, are they giving us the things. Oh, the princess is <laughs> spilling the tea. I, I love, you love to see it. Yes, this is a Danny C. Fabian Hawk. Yep. Would you have it any other way in game three? Right? The final game of this series. Mm -hmm. Pickles doing what is kind of a pickle special of going to run over and check the two chests and dwarves reset out if they're bad. Yep. He's found the ship here a couple times, so let's see. Uh, we get the herb. That'll turn into an item of some sort. It will. And a chunk. Right, we're not we going to reset that. out of that. Yeah, we keep that. So harm four in the white magic. Very nice. All right. That makes that white mage, you know, definitely viable. Fast is really good to see in the first few levels of magic. Um, like to see temper in the first four levels as well. Haven't seen that yet, but fast and nuke were already off to the races. I would actually strongly consider blind and confused from that store too. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Yes, we're going to nuke almost all of our problems for the majority of the game. Mm -hmm. However, improved dark is super punishing and blind is the power word version of that. Mm -hmm. uh, Rod from Bicky. Okay. Very interesting. Because that means Matoya is going to have progress. Yep. And that opens up, you know, quite a bit here. You know, some decisions coming. And there's that ship. Yep. Um, so blind is very strong because it's power word and it's the improved dark flag. But we also have confuse and we have improved lit fire ice, mm -hmm. which means that when you confuse an enemy and it casts fire at itself, it actually hurts. Yeah. And that's a very viable way to take down something like carry. Yep. All right, tracing each other's footsteps here. Brighty's about to get that ship. Probably isn't going to see that herb right off. I think Fry Teeth is going to skip out on the Dwarf 2-pack. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see what that turns into then for Pickles. If that's, you know, something like uh, the Opal Cheerio, you know, Fry Teeth's going to love to see that. Pickles, it'll be fine, but that'll just kind of solidify that ribbon and the Opal on the Black Belt like you were talking about. All right, Fry Teeth is going to go check it and okay. set up a, a Save Scum location. Mm -hmm. Smart. I respect it. Mm -hmm. But what's notable here is we now have the out of the inner sea, you know, gift pack going on with the rod. Mm -hmm. If this was Fizzle, it would be an immediate dive to Earth at level three. It's very scary. <laughs> I mean, um, level one nuke, though. We're really like level 10, so it's fine. Yes, level one nuke with three charges. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's exactly what I want to do. We buy a house or two, we, we open up the boxes on floor one, we gain some levels, and we're fine. Um, Pickles, did you leave the ship at Matoya's? <laughs> I think you did. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. So if only, if only Slowboat was on to punish him. <laughs> Pickles diving out straight over because we do have the ruby, mm -hmm. uh, the T in Pickles' case. That's going to give five checks over here real quick. What does that herb turn into? A power gauntlet, actually useful item. Yep. Okay. And Pickles, or Fry Teeth is loading up the fighter with that gear. Interesting. All right. Fire two, warp, lock. Um, Lock and Warp are, like, the real important ones here. Mm -hmm. But we also have no money. <laughs> the, yeah, you, we were kind of laughing at the 800 gold for that White Mage starting bonus. Uh, oh, hi, Floater. Whoa. That All may, right. well, may or may not be useful. <laughs> we have half of the Airborne components. So the floater is unfortunately just as useful as the loot right up until we get the canoe. <laughs> it's a very pretty rock in our pocket right now that does a lot of nothing. Oh, oh there is the key on Pickle's side. Okay. And the oh. loot. What okay. is this? Okay. And oh my. <laughs> So like, oh, and we got a crystal over here in Marsh Cave. So this is funny. Like, if y'all caught game two, um, 
Fry Teeth made an early play to Ice Cave and found just like a bountiful bunch of stuff there. It was like three items, a ribbon, it was loaded. And, you know, Pickles making the other play going over to Titans, finding three items himself over there. Like, what a seed already we got going on. <laughs> so that black belt just got bodied by the Garbage, which is not great. Yeah. But we are seeing that Fry Teeth is keeping it down. Mm -hmm. Because right now, the only life caster is that black belt. Yeah. Pickles doing key locks. Very uh, good decision here. Very heads up. Yeah. You're going to want to open these boxes. They're essentially free. We got a few spike tiles we're going to have to step on uh, in a couple places. But for the most part, like, this is free boxes. We want what's in here, most likely. I mean, even when it's just money, yes. Yeah, that's a good uh, thing. A Weir Sword plus three, an Iron Shield plus four, sure. You know, yeah. it's, it's not great, but at least it's something. Yeah, it's not bad. Now, the real kicker is going to be if something important like that canoe ends up being in Marsh Locked. <laughs> oh, boy. And we'll see, but, you know, I don't, I don't hold out on that. Right. A lot of interestingly decently rolled armor so far, too. Mm hmm Let's well, start with that wood armor plus three, like you said, and, you know, silver shield plus four, iron armor shield plus four. Like, there's some decent gear out there so far. Uh, wizards definitely know how to punch. Yeah. Because they just punch out that white mage entirely. <laughs> They hit tremendously hard, unlike their sorcerer counterparts who hit like wet noodles. Uh, opal armor plus four, kind of okay. Yeah, and a TNT as well there from the Marsh uh, top box in the basement. So crystal TNT so far out of Marsh Cave. Pickles with a whole bountiful stuff in his pocket from Titan. Uh, lots of items coming fast and furious. So. This is uh, this is coming up real quick. It is like everything is just moving very fast. I am okay. So Fry Teeth not opting to go by magic. Oh, he realizes he should go by magic. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's the real question: Is does Fry Teeth pick the White Mage back up? I mean, and it looks like the answer is I'm going to check the magic and find out if I'm going to pick the white mage back up. Mm -hmm. Wall and lamp, both level three. Both of those actually useful spells. There's an oxyale in the dwarf cave. Okay, so he already paying off right here. Like it, it's getting to the point where like we're probably going to see the canoe at some point, but it's we might not need that. <laughs> we might not. Um, level four white. Holy crap. Wow, that's what you call loaded, right? <laughs> uh, that's some serious consideration about picking up that white mage now. Yeah, you gotta think about it. And Pickles taking the outside run to uh, to go to Elfland. Makes mm. sense. I like it. And is picking up the white mage, but leaving the black belt down. Wow, okay. Well, this fighter is really strong. And to be honest, like, we don't need the black belt if we're going to use it till we need the black belt. So let's get a lot of levels on these mages. Let's see if we can lean into this fighter. We'll pick the black belt up if necessary. Notable that Fry Teeth is doing his save position at the dock. Mm -hmm. I would have almost expected it to be further out and lean into the, the I think the run is long enough and reset back to Canary otherwise. Excal plus one though, we're gonna keep that. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, it's looking more and more like this fighter might be our win con, maybe. I, you know, I think so. And the fact that Fry Teeth picked up the White Mage actually surprises me mm -hmm. because there were no additional spells picked up yet. Mm -hmm. There was the sale of the Opal Helm to get some cash, but yeah. Whereas, you know, Pickles is just loading up on the magic. Yeah. Uh, Fry Teeth trying to burn the encounters, but kept locking on the dock tiles. As it does advance the encounter table, it's very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Very sad. 
Ice uh, 3 as well there at level 4. I missed that the first time around. So we got Nuke level 1, Ice 3 level 4, Fast level 2, Warp level 3. Like, this is really good magic. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was the Ruse stick coming out of Merrick. Mm. So what we're really missing right now is that tail, which, I mean, that could be coming out of the crown that Pickles picked up. It could be. Fryteeth is going to make his way over to Sarda and get that bounty of things. Mm -hmm. But again, the, the tail of the tape is really going to come down to when Pickles goes down to Marshlocked. And we see if anything important is down there. Ooh, from there. The okay, so not that tail that I'm sure that they were hoping for, but <clears throat> you know, pretty pretty good again. Was it a Forpal? <laughs> no, it's just a just yeah, a okay. 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 Plus one, alright. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell. But uh Fry Teeth now getting all the good news of Titan's Trove. Mm -hmm. uh, Chunk Iron Plus Three. Very good armor for that yeah. that fighter, but we already had it on Pickle's side, it's so not a big deal. It was for sale for about six hundred, I think, in one of the shops. Uh I keep getting his floater. Again, nice to see, but not exactly helpful right now. Neither of these runners really pulling out super ahead, and mm -hmm. we won't really see that until Pickles gets down to that base. Yeah, that I'm betting. Nothing. I'm betting that Marsh Locked has nothing. We've but, seen it a couple times, and it hasn't, so odds are in your favor that you're correct, but... So, the reason that I'm guessing that way is because we have the entirety of Earth available to us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, you know, the eight checks on floor four, sure, those are great. We've got five on floor one, six on floor two, and two, three, four, five on floor three. So, mm -hmm. that's another 16, so 24 total checks. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of chests. Yeah. It's a lot of walking in Earth Cave, but it's surprisingly, you know, dense. It's a fiend dungeon, so it's going to have a lot of boxes in it. You just have to do a lot of walking compared to some of the other areas. But it's definitely worth going to, and it has paid off in spades for our runners in this tournament. There's always something in Earth Cave. Yeah. So we'll see how fast one of our runners opts to go there. Mm -hmm. Pickles has completed the top side of Marsh and chose to keep the things. Yeah. On the way downstairs. Being able to exit out with that uh, fighter is just so convenient. Absolutely. Telemagic is one of the single most impactful blurses in mm -hmm. almost any flag set. Mm -hmm. uh, Fabian pointing out, and yes, 100% true, this is important. Um, C also available. Yep. And C is 32 boxes in total. Mm -hmm. and nicely split so you can exit and take advantage of that. I did not notice on Pickle's side there was a coral sword in that bottom box. I'm wondering if Pickles had seen it and reset out or what, because I didn't remember seeing it in the inventory. Hmm. Alright, the moment of truth. There was a cabin. Alright. Box two, we're gonna get well, we're gonna get this fight, and then we're gonna get another fight on the spike tile. That's an ice sword plus five. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, that's nice. That is a big sword. Yeah, we could we can take that to the end game if we really wanted to. We're not gonna have to, but we could absolutely do it. Alright. Uh, Pickles was running up to get this chest real quick, which had the chunk. That's very nice to see. Try to get a shard count next time these guys pause. Dude, four wizards right now is just real scary. Mm -hmm. uh, but they do all the wrong target. And that, that means they went after the fighter. Huh? Shout out to our uh, restreamer, Azlato, uh, in the chat over here with us. Pickles with a six count, fry teeth with five so far on the shards. So that was a silver bracelet plus two as our final check in Marsh Lock. Marsh yeah. Lock was dead. Yep. 
Now, I suspect Fry Teeth orphans that forever. Yes. And, you know, that's great. Um, that works out well for Fry Teeth. Mm -hmm. Realistically, these runners are hand in hand. Pickles may be with a small advantage of having only gone to the bottom of Dwarf Cave once compared right. to Fry Teeth twice. But, you know, we're, we're very close here. Pickles still, if he wants to, has to go back into the inner sea to turn in this crystal. So he's got a little bit of sailing to do if he wants to do a few more things. But I could see him just, you know, saying, heck that, I'm going to go right over to uh, Sea Shrine. Yeah, why not? Sea Shrine. Okay. Oh, Let's go. baby. Let's go. Let's go. Arm four, level two, nuke level one, and a dream. Let's go. And, and Tele Magic. Yeah, and that's, Tele Magic. That's the huge part. Yeah. So we can take these trash fights on the way in here, try to gain a level two, and then just, you know, like you said, exit out, save, and go back in. Nothing interesting in the on-rack shop. That's good. We're finding harm three and harm one at level seven white. Interesting. And slow two and saber at level seven black. It's fine. Um, you know, I'm fine with all those spells being there. Uh, I, I don't think we've seen the Melman shop, and neither runner has gone to Crescent Lake. And I, I just want to toss out there, the number of times that the sages at Crescent Lake have had the canoe is <laughs> unnerving. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going to see that TFC check in a uh, second here. Let's go canoe and TFC for the absolute giga dream here. We got the, we got the TFC north check first, mm -hmm. which, you know, is fine. Um... All right. Eh, silver shield. Okay. Good job, Captain America. Snack. All right, here we go. Survey says. I mean, White that's is still very good. I'll take it. I'll take we it. We haven't seen Invis two yet. No, we have not. Bright teeth picking up some extra houses. Good to see those early. Is grabbing his magic. Okay, he can afford it now. Yeah, and this this loaded level four. Mm -hmm. and speaking of Giga Dream, shout out to Giga Not also for joining us here and being our tracker tonight, pushing the buttons and keeping all you guys up the speed of what our runners have. Just a little silver dagger there, nothing worth noting. Fry teeth making the earth dive. So we have diverging paths here, and we shall right. see who gets the payout. Okay. The sea snacks, they are uh, they're doing a number on this party, but and we get a four pack before we heal mm. on that double encounter. So we're we're gonna throw hands here, and the nuke caster Ooh. goes down. That's uncomfortable here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hit that fighter, please. Punch or the black belt. Just anybody but the white mage. Yeah, right. Um, I don't want the black belt to go down either, mm -hmm. because the black belt can revive, like has charge of. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh no. So we are just trying to keep the fighter up, mm -hmm. but the fighter on this side does have the ice plus five. If I remember. He does. Yeah. A level 10 on those two characters is a real big help. Uh, so he We're doesn't have any charges, but he's got them when he's, you know, houses up. Exactly. So soon. And that soon is quite literally as soon as we exit out after doing all of <laughs> the mermaid floor. Uh -huh. We have reached safety. Mm -hmm. uh, fry teeth burning off encounters to start the real dive. Yep. We've done our first five checks. Always be the sigh of relief after taking punishment on the way down to mermaids, being able to walk on this floor knowing it's free, like being able to breathe a second. Right? Not seeing a whole lot so far out of this sea shrine. All right, wizard stick is pretty helpful. Oh! Bubbles, ribbon. Ribbon and bubbles. Oh. Pickles. Thank Good you. Good man. Good, Good man. All right. Never so, let him hear the end of it. <laughs> absolutely not. 
So that is two ribbons for pickles now, which is yeah. very helpful. Mm. Eh, you know, there, there were some shards. That's helpful. Walking. Why? Oh, did he leave a chest behind? Okay. No, he, he got... Oh, he must have just thought he didn't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Which, I mean, I'm, I'm down for. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I missed if there was anything on Dry Teeth's side. Because he just exited out after doing second floor checks. I think I saw him pick up an Aegis. Yep. Uh, okay. Aegis is good. Yep. Especially leaning into Night Strats as we move further down. I think that right there, that move alone, I think kind of solidifies that. I think Fry Teeth is not bringing this black belt back up. He would have to see something really frightening, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't like these Scorch Undead, but at least yeah. we have the Heal 2 charges. Yeah, the Undead packs always just bother me. There, there's a whole lot of them of random kinds all in a group. They can have any kind of garbage in their script. It's just... It can be unsettling at best. All right. We're going to see uh, not very many checks coming out of Pickles for a little bit while he traverses down towards Kraken. Bold. Well, you know, if your plan is loot out Sharknado and exit, I'm 100% on board. Yeah. I don't believe he turned in the TNT for the Ruse stick yet. I don't think so. I don't if think he, he went back. If he had the ruse stick, I could see that fighter getting rused up and, mm -hmm. you know, with a ribbon and a power bomb and just going to town. Yeah. I think this is an exit after Sharknado situation and hope that you don't need the shards. Four shards is a lot to leave behind, but Kraken can make you leave behind a lot more if you pick up things on the way down and he decides to turn you away. So it's a gamble, but it's probably a safe bet. Yeah, and especially seeing spell charges being used, that's another indication that maybe we're going to grab levels and leave. Yeah, freely just burning those charges says I think exactly that. All right, it is vampire time for Fry Teeth. Ooh, spooky ghosts. <laughs> They're, yeah, they, they are spooky. Yeah. Silver Hammer plus four. It's a weapon that nobody ever equips. I can't say that because I've dealt with it. <laughs> oh, man, they're ambush happy, too. These ghosts are very mean. Oh, rude. Ooh. Very rude. And thinking about... All right, we get the nuke off. Oh, a low roll's bad, though. Yeah, it does. Oh, boy. Well, that that was that floor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see. Fry Teeth clearing out down here. Gets a white... Uh, a light axe. Which would be free harm, too, for that white mage as well, which is you know, pretty good. There's an adamant as well as the bottle. Um, adamant mm. we can check. Bottle we can't until we get that canoe. Interesting. So we are three more boxes here in Earth Cave, or the answer is on Sharknado floor with pickles. Or... Or... The stages. Or the Neither stages. runner has gone to the stages yet. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, no. Did you know that this game has jokes sometimes? <laughs> uh, so, uh, all right. And Davian bringing up the store. We haven't, uh, we haven't seen a shop item yet, yeah. which could be the Oasis. It could be Crescent Lake. Those are our only two options on the table right now. Yeah. Um, all right. Scary wizards have been dealt with. Um, fry teeth continuing on. All right, here we go. Three boxes for fry teeth. Do we have an answer here? Uh, we have more wizards and um, a heal helm plus six. Yeah. Pickles did check the Onrak shop. Yes. Uh, oh my. No answer in Earth. Oh my. So that is very telling. Yeah. What was left in this room for pickles? I don't think he got to the Sharknado room proper. I believe you are correct. He actually went the same direction mm. through this room that he was starting to initially. Mm. Um, so uh, 
Fudge bringing up canoe cannot be in the shop, but yes, the chime could be. It could be. On rack may have, or not on rack, uh, Crescent Lake may have been our answer all along. I, you know, <laughs> the rando has jokes. It does. And what is, what oh is this lich? Did you see how much damage that lich has taken so far? I have. Still up. <laughs> Still up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I know that the HP range in these flags is a little high, but like, there was a 300-some damage harm 4 in there. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Iron. Great. Oh my, one box. holding my breath oh, oh canoe. <laughs> literally the oh. last box literally the last box <laughs> why did he step back on there oh why not warp why wouldn't you exit right now i got i wonder if he's gonna consider going after kraken now with that white shirt and feeling like he needs these shards after taking that wipe i wonder what are you gonna do Oh. oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> we got a tail from the adamant. Alright. We are going to Kraken. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is super sketchy. <laughs> so you are right, classic gamer. This is spicy right here. That wipe to those ghosts is forcing Pickles to do this. He definitely thinks he needs to leave with those shards now. Oh boy. And, you know, I understand that feeling, especially after game one, where yep. my teeth got just brutalized in Earth. Mm -hmm. Still came in, you know, not that far behind. But... Yep, yep. Oh, Herbie B mentioning that there is a defense sword. I did not see the defense get the Oh, that. okay. All right, that tilts the map. It does, yeah. Yeah, white shirt with the uh, white mage, get a fast off with the black mage, and just ruse. Oh, we didn't buy fast. Uh, didn't buy fast. <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Well, it's fine. We got the defense. We got the power bomb. It's fine. We got a ribbon. It's fine. We got two ribbons. But that canoe is yeah. so telling, and yep. that's gonna be a while for Fry Teeth to get to. All right, chime, chime, chime. Oh. If it was chime, it would probably be worse for Fry Teeth. Mm. I mean, unless you get super lucky and also get the cube, like, in, mm. in Mirage. Alright. This is feeling slightly secure here for Pickles. He's definitely gotten off a bunch of ruse and invis stacks. He's being able to bonk now pretty comfortably. Uh, provided Kraken doesn't get super lucky, I think we're okay. That was one hit for 35 on the white mage. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a secure feeling. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we we have a ribbon on yeah, that we, fighter. It's we cool. do. We do. It's still spooky. Uh, that black mage may not be long for this world now that it is held. Oh oh okay. The black mage is fine. This kraken is gonna fall over now. Because this kraken's taking a lot of damage too, by the way. <laughs> yeah. The the kraken is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So the the whole answer was Kraken just needed to not punch and look the two ribbons dealt with everything that was a threat. Yeah. <laughs> that was that's gotta feel pretty good for pickles right there. That was uncomfortable at best taking that wipe to the ghost, but going back in, clearing out what you needed, getting your shards and the canoe feels good. Interesting that he is opting not to do waterfall right now. It's right there. It's a choice. So Fry Teeth is gonna make the same play, probably the exact same directions on this. Yep. Um, the downside for Fry Teeth is he's probably gonna leave that black belt down right up until the Kraken fight. And I don't think he has any armor of note on his white mage. Mm -hmm. So the white mage may or may not live to get all the way down. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a cube. <laughs> the cube for sale. Um, did Frytooth see that? I don't think he did. Mm. He did, to my knowledge. There is also the question of just money. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's early in the seed. The money is not necessarily floating through very quickly. But the other thing that's playing into Pickle's favor right now is... Alright, so sure, he hasn't done Earth. He hasn't gotten the stuff from there. But we have easy access to Ice, Volcano, Cardia. We're going to finally pick up that fast that we forgot about. Yep. It's Whoops. a good idea. Alright, you know, worthwhile, that white shirt is equipable by, <laughs> by the white wizard. That's going to help out a lot, too. And from Pickle's side of the world right now. Alright, so we're stopping to turn in the TNT to get that ruse stick. But we don't have the adamant, and I don't know if we have a compelling case for Earth anymore for him. Earth Not at the is... Earth is so few boxes, density-wise, compared to the other dungeons. Right. Um, you know, we, we have to see how that plays out, because we are in shards, levels, and go. Right. We already have our, our loot and our key. We may not need to, uh, to promote on Pickle's side. We may not feel that strongly about either the Vorpal or the x -Cal. Right. And there is a Masa out there somewhere. If, you know, maybe we see it, maybe we don't. But we were saying earlier that Ice Sword is a very fine weapon. <laughs> so that can work. And when we finally find that Xbox mm -hmm. and the, uh, the fabulous Warmack therein, thank you, Fry Teeth. I know that she had to dive in front of you for you to do that. <laughs> but, but I appreciate you nonetheless. I just picture her just like diving across the doorway, like you cannot leave yet. Nope, nope, I'm leaving. Absolute linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that commercial? Um, it was like an ESPN, like Terry. It wasn't Terry Crews. It was like, oh, it was an ESPN thing where a guy played like office linebacker, and it was an NFL player that would come and tackle people in an office. Like that's what I just pictured. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought of The Simpsons with Apu jumping in front of somebody to take a bullet. <laughs> All right, Pickles, where are you going? What are you doing? We doing volcano? We're thinking. Buffering, buffering. Checking quadrants. Okay. Uh, fun no, to thank you. Into steak and wings. No. All right. That's not bad. Sandwiches are good. <clears throat> That's not bad at all. I mean, at the very least, as a transitional grind, they're good. Yeah. Fun police into steak and wings. Dang. Mm. None of the elusive blue steak in those three quadrants. Nope. No? Right, all so... right, sandwiches are our best bet. He's not going to check Quadrant 5, which has some other juicy encounters available to it. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with Quadrant 5, it is just north of that uh, northwest quadrant, and it's about halfway up the desert tiles between the landing spot of Ordeals and the pathway there. But that can have Saria, that can have... Uh, sandwiches, it, it can have some good encounters. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I think the sandwiches are just going to take there. Right. Gosh, these ghosts hit very, very hard. Yeah. They always do. Yeah. Ice armor plus two, very solid. Yeah, we'll and take that. Fry Teeth with the promotion and, you know, the little bit of added security here of that X-Cow. Um, we'll make it for, I think, a bunch <laughs> Oh, I mean, but didn't they have, they have the plus 10 strength on the White Mage. You'll love to see it. 
<laughs> it's also a silver hammer plus four. Like it's it's an actual weapon, but right? It's, it's still a hammer. <laughs> being like the worst category of weapons other than chucks. <laughs> Pickles throwing down that ice armor plus two to pick up a flame armor plus six. The next box after he picked up that ice armor, just throwing it on the floor. <laughs> I don't want this anymore. I threw it on the ground. Man. Yeah, insert that Andy from uh, Toy Story meme. Like, I don't want to play with you anymore. Just dropping it on the ground. Still no Xbox. Mm. And Ooh. the chime. Oh, do you? If you're Pickles mm -hmm. in this position, do you immediately <laughs> just leave once you finish the armory? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess maybe you don't just because Volcano is so easy to clear with how many free tiles there are. Yeah. It, it, tough call. Let's see. Here's your answer. He's going back in. Yeah, with, with using a tent. Yeah, he's going back in. Okay. If he's just gotten in the airship, I knew he was going to be gone for realsies, but yeah, yeah we're, we're committed. Yeah. We and got it, a whole lot of going on here, yeah. yeah. You know, it's there's plenty of chests to get while we're here. We got a whole Agama floor. We got Kelly with a couple of shards. We, looks like we have a shard count of 17 for Fry Teeth, 18 for Pickles. So, close. Very, very close. Yeah, it is uh, very interesting that we're in this position now where we have everything yeah. from the, the key item standpoint. Uh, with Fry Teeth only missing the cube for sale and then this chime <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh oh baby i think fry teeth will probably have a little bit i mean not that pickles had a rough time but have a little bit of an easier time here against cracking with that x cal and look fast yeah only getting one ruse stack up before taking the swing I, you know, I understand, especially when Kraken has a script. Yeah. Croquet plus five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We take those. Yeah. There's our sushi. Level 18. We're going to just take a quick stop in the item shop, stock up on heels, which makes sense. I'm not seeing a ton of stuff other than that pro cape so far. Yeah. Um, now, all right, here's the real question. Pickles has enough shards to consider a grind ration. Right. Does he do it? If he's thinking <laughs> he about it. Okay. He's, he's certainly equipping. thinking about he's, it. He's healing both characters. Maybe he wants Definitely. to make sure he can get off the ground here. He absolutely will get off the ground. There's no question about that because this this black belt uh, is supported by an ice plus five fighter. <laughs> true, very true. <laughs> All right, this is not playing out the way I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> the exact opposite of what I thought was going to happen. Right, now, Fry Teeth picking up that. Um, that cube for sale there in uh, Crescent Lake. So I got to figure that it was probably um, just a money factor at the time. Did he? I I'm like actually asking that because I saw him menu the houses. Did oh, he, he didn't? I thought he he's... Oh, okay. I think uh, he menu the houses twice and was deciding how many houses he was going to get. Oh, which cool. sort of leads me to desert grind question. Maybe. Um, because if he bought uh, Fabian saying he, he got the I, I didn't catch the inventory so we'll, we'll have to see yeah it, it looked like Fry Teeth grabbed two stacks of 10 or 11 houses mm -hmm. and called it a day 
And Red Dragon had Stone Touch or something that put that black belt to stone. There you go. Yep. Stone Touch. Thank you, Classic Gamer. I love Stone Touch in theory. And, <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you and I have talked about this many times in the boot camp. Mm -hmm. About my absolute love of making somebody into a lawn gnome who can raise uh, the other characters up after the black belt. Right? <laughs> it's very true. Love my lawn gnomes. Yeah. All right, Fry Teeth headed to volcano. Going to be retracing or tracing over Pickles' steps. Almost going to high five on the exit, really. Yeah. Power bonking up this uh, fighter here. We're not even swinging with the black belt. Ooh. It's a big punch from Kelly right there. Well, we have gotten confirmation that there is a cube in Fry Teeth's inventory. Okay. And Fry Teeth opting to skip the hairpin checks by the looks of it, which I'm a big fan of because those checks suck. And <laughs> we're looking at bulk at this point. Right? Yeah. Like, what can we do to get the most possible? Um, oh. Pickles? This... Defeated Kelly, walked back in, and is now damaging down his party. That could be a lead in to either sandwiches or agamas. Yeah. We've got a silver bracelet plus two and a ribbon on that black belt card. Yes. And this is looking like sandwiches. Okay. Uh, we have a question in chat, what the randomizer does. A bigger question, what doesn't it do? It has yeah. over 500 flags. <laughs> um, so it can change numeric values of enemies. It can move stuff around in the shops. It can move all of the treasure around. It can change the treasure pool. It can uh, move key items around, replace key items in locations. Um, it changes the encounter table. It, like, you can change the overworld. You can remove the overworld. You can do all sorts of stuff. There are versions for other Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy V's main one that I'm aware of is Career Day. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's several. And if you want to learn everything that you need to know to race this randomizer or just play casually, mm -hmm. starting up on Sunday night, that is literally five days away, chat. Mm -hmm. We start the Duck Boot Camp. And that's me and Luffy teaching you how to play the random. You get two champions for the price of one. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we kind of teach you guys some of the finer points of uh, the basics of the randomizer, how to play, party composition. We go over quite a few things, menuing, um, you know, overworld strats, all kinds of fun stuff, pathing. It's it's a lot of fun. You're going to learn some really cool stuff. Uh, and Pickle's getting 20,000-ish XP from these sandwiches. It's going gonna, gonna to be over quick. <laughs> So this is absolutely the opposite of what I would have expected from these runners, and yep. that's hilarious. Yep. Um, the fighter being the only one upright on Fry Teeth's side, I'm wondering if he's thinking about a brief stop in the Agama room. He's he's taking the Agama. Mm -hmm. Do you just heal up the fighter and get, like, 10 levels real quick? It's going to take no time at all. So, I mean, if you really want to, and this is where you're going to get it, why not? Yeah. Uh, he's just going to keep walking it down. Okay. okay. All right. So the sandwich is paying out for pickles very fast. This, yep. this black belt is going to be beef. Yep. We are healing up that black mage, so we're we're getting the prep on for the carry fight. And realistically, there's not a whole lot that Fry Teeth needs for shards. Pickle's not that far off either on the shard count. Yeah, Pickle's gonna be able to just you know turn and go right into um, Mirage slash Sky right after this too. So um, you know Sky provides is one of the catchphrases of our community here so we'll see if it pays off for pickles here because that's got to be where he's going 
interesting to see the reset out of the single sandwich fight. <laughs> we don't have time for that right now. That's, that's, that's too slow. Yeah. I mean, we can just hard reset. It's fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, all right, Fry Teeth is officially down to only the fighter, or the knight, rather. And a knight with an X-Cow moves quick. It sure does. <laughs> Very few things can keep up with a level 42 black belt, because that's where we're going on Pickle's side here. Then Not much is going to stand in his way, but uh, you know, a, a fully kitted out fighter with an X-Cow is certainly one of them. Yeah, I, and it's... Also, I think Fry Teeth had picked up the Opal Armor plus four. He has yep. ribbon for that knight. Mm -hmm. The Aegis Shield. Like, there's plenty of gear on this knight. Yep. Who's now level 24. Nothing gonna stop him. And it looks like we're picking our party members up at the party member store real quick. I think he got five levels or so on that knight and Black Mage a little bit before the other party members are coming back up, so strong all right fry teeth headed down to mirage try to find these oh gonna stop doing the bottle turn in first okay i don't feel a need for the bottle at this point but you know what could this, this be uh yeah the opal or the ribbon yeah one of the two mm. um which, I mean, that is safety for the additional mage. That is oh, the ribbon. That's okay. the one we want to see. I would have liked either, honestly. Mm -hmm. You know, if yeah. the opal rolled up, it would have been real solid. Yeah. Level 35 for Pickles. So this is going to be grind for Pickles versus, you know, can Fry Teeth just get that one shard? Fry Teeth was checking the encounters in that before he before he went in. Note, Fry Teeth has not used a house yet. He's out of warp charges on the knight, and he does not have a lot of hit points on any of his secondary characters. Interesting. And he's just looking for one shard, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright, now's the time for a house. We're gonna do the burn off and we're gonna go. Okay. <laughs> Pickles, you have to wonder at a certain point how much time you're losing to resets versus. Alright, you know, eventually it hits. Yeah. I'd love to map that out, but not really. Yeah, same. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, less than greater than room here. If anybody could use that flame shield plus five, it would be real nice. Right? Where are the shards, dude? Wow. <laughs> okay. That was 15 checks with no shards. Yeah, that's... So with Fraggy only needing one and Pickle still needing several, um... That's actually huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are getting the uh, Cerberus pack taken down real quick. Pickles has decided he's done. All right, 40, I guess, is good enough. You do sort of expect to take a couple unrunnable packs and maybe a boss. Yeah. And if his plan is to just charge up Sky and get everything in here, yeah. you know, so much the better. Exactly. Alright, go into the four pack first. There's four on the left, five on the right, one on the bottom. The old Bane Sword chest. As the bad men proceed to just be rude, yeah, but they're really allowed. They're hitting very hard. The white wizard is still up. Okay. Um. I don't like this at all. No. And I especially don't like throwing out a heal two here. Um, I think that was a miss menu. <laughs> all right, we've escaped. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. 
Saracen, where are the shards come from? So that's gonna hurt Pickles just as much. Yeah. Um, Pickles is gonna charge straight up first, by the looks of it. Bold. Or wait, no, he just did floor one. Yeah, he, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, there's, there's the shard. There's the one. There's the exit. Alright, so how many more in there for Pickles? Because looking at uh, our broadcast room here, so our tracker Giga says that he has 21 shards for Pickles. So Pickles still needs seven. So technically he needs three and Tiamat. Uh, his Black Belt's online, but Fry Kate's ready to go. The old fly and, and just barely miss your uh, <laughs> at Topher. Mm-hmm. Pickles going through that same moment of, where are the shards? Yep. The Sky Palace of Sadness so far. It's just Mirage is the problem, though it's... That, um, that Badman pack could still be rough for Pickles. Yeah. Definitely probably could be, because you know he's probably on the same part of the encounter table, because they know how to burn off those first two. I'm assuming that he did exactly that. <clears throat> yeah... So the real question then is does this Topher do bad things? We're gonna find out. Friki threw the loot plate, making his way 2,000 years into the past to right some wrongs and take out a fiend. Or five. Is that the fan? What, what splattered him? Was that a Gymera? That nuke that black belt or black mage um it was the Jamera chimera pack yeah mm -hmm. chimera i know <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just easier you know you got you got jim and chim all right yeah yeah <laughs> pickles was... gonna opt for the third floor before going to check spider yeah, well, 14 boxes on this floor and a little less walking says I'd rather open these. Yeah, absolutely. We're even leaving, we're even leaving that black shirt behind. We're not picking even armor up. Well, we're not going to be able to equip, but we're not promoted. I'd take it back. Never mind. Yep. All right, Fry Teeth on to Lich's floor. Oh, we got the, the Twilight guys here mm -hmm. as... Uh, the fun names have changed them to Edward. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Lich, we're starting out with a nuke. And a harm four. Pretty good turn order so far. Big swing from the next cow. Four hits, 365. Down goes Lich. One chunk in the six pack. Okay, so we're, we're hoping for the greed checks here. We sure are. And still haven't seen the Xbox to know uh -huh. where that moth is. Not there. So now it's time to check this floor of very, very sad things. Yep. Well, Harry 2. There is okay. the one chunk we needed. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. So. Um, splattered black mage. I think that that was death touch? Mm. Or was it just a lot of damage? Um, but the Black Mage just went down, and that was the same encounter that did rude things on Fry Teeth's side. Yeah. Well, same general idea. Right, let's see. Fry Teeth doing okay so far. On to the sea floor. Everybody's least favorite floor of Topher, I think. So scary. There's just the enemies here hit hard. There can be a lot of them. They can be unrunnable. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Fabian saying ice or waterfall for that Masa. I'd say it still could be in Sky. We didn't see yeah. several chests. There were Watch eight it. chests remaining, I think. Mm -hmm. Watch it be in the incentive, uh, vanilla incentive box. That would have been funny. <laughs> I, it could land in Topher. It could. This is true. Yeah, which is hilarious when it happens. Team at one, punch by that black belt, seven hits, 520. Fast comes out in the wrong order, but it's okay. Right, 
Ruse is in white shirts going out for Fry Teeth. Ruse comes out, Fast comes out, white shirt goes out. That's some pretty good turn order again. Uh, <laughs> that's, that, that hurt. All right, here we go. Swing. Four for 318. We did not pick up Temper, but the Black Mage is down anyway. Um, fire three. Fine. We have 318. We got to do a little more damage than that. Lightning two. Dark touch. Uh, concerning. Yeah, but, I mean, these are the characters with ribbons, so... Yeah. Ooh, there's a nuke! Oh, that, no! Oh. oh, no! Okay. Um, well, we'll man mode with a root stick, a ribbon, and a power bomb. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, we, if this was going to happen, we would have much rather preferred to be on TM app, but here we go. Yep. Pickles through the loop plate. Coming fast with that black belt. Got a smaller party for the the Chimera Gemera fight, so that was nice as well. All right, full Ruse stacks out there for Fry Teeth. Nuclear for 262 HP left. We got a couple bonks off and a couple Ruse stacks. Swing. Oh, two hits, 260. This is an evasive Tia mat. We got to hope for some crits. Three hits, 451. Tia with Blaze. There's a lot of skills on this Tia mod. Yep, two hits, 113, four hits, 326. Lightning two back around again. Nuclear is coming back around again. Another lightning two. Three hits, 336. Down goes TF. Fry teeth through. Very possible to finish this out, but you have to hope that that, that Chaos didn't roll tier four. Mm -hmm. Chaos didn't roll multiple nukes. Slow uh, two. We're going to do what we can. Yep. Slot four. Interesting. Not the crit loop slot of uh, most people's choice, but we'll see how things go. Uh, ink is a first with the ruse coming out. Yep. There's another ruse. Into a swing for a miss. So far, so good. There's another miss. There's our maxed out ruse. Power bonk. It's a very punchy chaos so far. Well, we, we did see the ink. That was a crit for half the health. Oh. There's a nuclear. Oh boy. We're on drink strats. All right. We're drinking. Oh we're boy. getting missed. That's a damage poison. That is not what you want to see at this point as you're it trying to not. get back up off your knees. Oh, boy. Meanwhile, Pickles on to carry. Oh, that's oh. another crit through Max Evade. Oh, no. <sighs> that is rough. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. So that, that does tell you you don't go to slot four. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a crit happy slot. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Pickles on to Kraken 2 floor. Fry Teeth coming back in. Um, if we get a little bit of better luck here against Kraken for Fry Teeth, we can do this. We, we certainly can. Well, and... Luck is determined largely by the size of the Black Belt's fists and yep. whether the Black Belt gets targeted. Yep. Uh, if the Black Belt just gets punched straight away, then it's probably dead. <laughs> All right. Pickles defense sorting up with that... Uh... Knight splatter again. Black Mage down. Two hits, 231. We're going to need a little more power than that. <laughs> We've seen the power of the Kraken. We're <laughs> ruse sticking with the Black Belt. Yep. <laughs> Kept the power bong on that Knight. I don't hate that right now until we get the Chaos. I mean, if the thought process is that the Black Belt is going to have significantly damaging fists already, yeah. like, you don't necessarily need the the power bonk on there yeah it's just helpful down right. goes that kraken so we can bring that black mage back up and yep. be safe for the remainder here yeah this is gonna be a full party for uh pickles going into tiamat which is uh you know definitely in a pretty good spot fry teeth having issues on the lich floor already as mm. we're seeing some brutalization by these golems Cool. Nuclear from Tiamat takes out the Black Mage. Almost took out the White Mage too, but with the Black Belt being the... Oh, there goes that White Mage. Yeah, we got life the on that Black Belt. Belt. Yeah, the Black Belt has life. 
Yeah, swirl, non-elemental damage. Yeah, this is actually concerning. Yeah, this is a very, very tricky Tiamat so far. Evasive, very evasive too. Yeah, we're rusing. Oh, Fry Teeth again with these Mud Goals, Rock Goals. But down goes Tiamat on Pickle's side. We're going to be able to life up using that Black Belt. Mm -hmm. And that is such a huge difference. Yep. We're going to spend this last Cure 4. Yeah, why not? How are we on Heal Pots? Probably fine, honestly. Unless Pickles forgot to buy some. Mm -hmm. Well, the rest of this party is not in good shape, so let's find out. Oh, we Here got 99. We... We're good. We're good. Yeah, all right. We were just burning through all of our spell slots first, and I, you know, I follow that logic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right, Pickles healing up his party. Black Belt in slot two right now. We're gonna leave him there. It's a good place for him to be, from what we've seen. Yep. Um, maybe an asked about Vorpal on the night. Well, Pickles doesn't have a night, so. Not, not so much. And I don't think oh, I boy, that. that's a big hit. 14 hits for 1,200 damage out of that black belt. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. That black belt did hit 42. And yeah. terminated. There it is. Get your right. GGs out in chat for pickles and beer. Finishing first place with a race time dot GG time of 102.59 GGs pickles wow and very shortly thereafter it was a forfeit from fry teeth um i think understandable mm -hmm. given the situation and pickles gg on yet another tournament in the books for you how you doing man hey thanks uh doing all right where were all the stinking shards at were they in earth <laughs> <laughs> there were a few in earth yeah a couple yeah, like absolute like uh, sea, <laughs> volcano, like mirage, and I don't know, all of sky that I checked. Like, so, like, dude. If it makes you feel better, Fry Teeth needed one shard when he entered Mirage Sky. Mm -hmm. And that didn't come until he checked the right side of Sky One. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> The, I mean, st yeah, that's not too bad, though. I mean, it's not great, but... The the call-out from chat was dry, 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 instead of sky, sky, sky. Yeah. <laughs> so, Pickles, we, we gotta know. Um, this, this did not play out the way we thought it would, looking at the starting party. Um, <laughs> I figured you'd ask that. We were, we were curious. Was that, your plan? was that your plan? What were you doing? Uh, the pretty, or the early-ish, I don't know, 30-ish minute mark, Canoe and Floater and the two quick encounters, mm -hmm. uh, had a decent number of shards, figured I'd check, I mean, I, I kind of, once I got the canoe and we had those two quick encounters, I, and was able to get in the air, I didn't have the X-Cal, yeah, I forgot about the crystal, didn't <laughs> have the tail or excal and i needed both of those to go or i it hadn't seen the mass either so i wanted any like i wanted tail and one of the swords and didn't have them and so i just decided to grind the black belt yeah we never saw the masa mm -hmm. um the tail was off of the adamant in earth yep so you weren't getting that it was on fourth floor as well Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I would have preferred I mean, I typically prefer the fighter in these, but you know, I needed something to swing. Weren't gonna trust on that ice plus five. <laughs> uh, nah, not if unless I absolutely had to. If I didn't have a black belt, then yeah, I would you know if of course, I, you know, I didn't come across stuff on my natural progression, so yeah, I would have rolled as was, hoping a prayer, and a nice plus five. So yeah, on Fry Teeth's side, we had uh, Earth before sea, promoted mm -hmm. before going into sea, 
you know, and and from there it was kind of just chasing you because you know there was that whole earth worth of time. But the extra shards helped. Um, the The real story though is that it was man mode from Kraken two on for Fry Teeth on the first dive, mm-hmm. and then two crits through Max Evade plus a nuclear. Yep. You know, trying to get the the heal strats up just did not pan out and uh yeah I did not, not pick up any of the magic on the night so mm-hmm. it looks like fry teeth's given us just the uh a little bit of a revenge run here uh, don't know if he's going to be joining us in the booth we'll see what he decides to do i mean it... I, I appreciate, you know, and, and can understand you know, the feeling that that's a, that's a rough way to go. Uh, the the Max Evade crit feels real bad. Um, Kraken gave him the business on the first ride as he's, you know, giving that Black Mage again the business right now. Um, it takes nothing away from what he did, though. He ran a great race. Um, it was a couple of bad luck rolls away. Uh, you know, GG's to Fry Teeth, and he is here. Hi. Hey, Hi. Fry Teeth. Hey. Hey, GG, Fry Teeth. GG, congrats. Thank you much. So, I, I guess the the big question for Fry Teeth, I, I know that you know ultimately once you found the tail and you had the X Cal, you were just gonna probably go that night. Did you did you give any thought to the black belt? Um, I decided I was going with the fighter about five minutes before the seed started. Um, once I saw the extra t- plus 10 hit percent on the fighter, uh, I was pretty much committing to it. And, you know, it should have worked. Yeah. And this was really tough picking between those two uh, melees with the the heal magic on the black belt and the tele magic on the, the fighter you kind of want to keep them both around but you kind of also want to do three man or two man to get the experience funnel a little earlier but yeah i, I mean it was an unfortunate crack in two into what was that chaos yeah I say the the crack in two wasn't i mean that fighter was you know level 25 or 26 by chaos you know with the xcal and power gauntlet and ribbon and bruise that chaos fight is going to go successfully most of the time you know what yeah you know, i don't know what the odds are in getting critted through max of adar but to have it happen twice in the same fight got to be pretty low it is pretty low depending on the number of swings that chaos has um, just because if it's single hit single target that means that you ended up just having your character in a bad slot. Mm-hmm. Right, and there's no no way to know that before the fight. More or less. I mean, you, you need to see a lot of rubs prior to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't say that I noticed uh, any one slot in particular having bad luck. Also, didn't get hit with much of anything the whole scene for once. Oof. That black mage just can't survive a fight. Mine couldn't either. Couldn't survive a round one at least. Yeah. <laughs> this chaos fight looking a little better this time around. Power bonk. White Mage doing her best to block with her face. Black Belt missed already, too. More Power Bonk. We get a swing. Five hits, 173. We need a little more power than that. Down goes the White Mage. It's okay. Poison Touch on Chaos as well. That's cute. Just one more thing. Yeah. (laughs) More Power Bonk. Four hits, 324. That's a little bit better. Down goes the black belt. Man mode. Fighter versus chaos. Whole day in prey time. Chaos missing. Feels good. Four hits 580. 
Five hits, 423. Looking good. Chaos had about 3,000-ish HP. It was hard to tell with Pickles doing 1,200 at the top. <laughs> That's close to like 2,100 right there, if not a little bit more. There we go. Four hits, 492. Down goes Chaos. GG's Fry Teeth. Uh, finishing out the seed. Um, that, that was a rough dive, but, you know, nice job finishing it out, and that does not detract from this tournament. You've had a great run the entire time. Especially for a tournament I almost didn't enter. <laughs> I think it worked out okay then for you. <laughs> yeah. If anyone's wondering, the Massa was in uh, Ice. Oh, that's mm. cute. That's cute. And it, ro and it rolled minus one. Oh. oh. Very sad. Yep. Well, uh, I guess we're, we're at the end of this tournament, and we have crowned our winner with Pickles and Beer, taking us to three. Uh, final thoughts on the tournament in general, and, uh, and feelings about you know, Gord, and what to look forward to. Pickles, we'll start with you. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I was, I don't know, up and down on legs early on and they grew on me a lot I actually rather enjoy them sometimes the uh the you know the loot the loose loot hunt or like shards just not showing up sometimes the route you take that kind of stinks sometimes but other than that it's been a lot of fun I'm ready for a break <laughs> totally understand that yeah. Typically, that's what you say after this time of year, right here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't hear from you again until fall league. <laughs> I'll try to do the yeah. Summer's busy. Try to do the dab the, or the bingo, whatever format we're going with. Mm -hmm. But yep. All right, Fry Teeth, you came in through the winner bracket, and you know it. It's sometimes rough in the the grand finals. You put up a great fight here. Your final thoughts on the tournament? Where things are going from here. Yes, kind of the same thoughts on the flag set. You know, liked them at some points, felt differently at other points. Felt like I had them pretty well figured out here by the end. Uh, yeah, see what's next. They were kind of an elusive bunch of flags. Mm -hmm. They were complex. There was definitely a lot of care and thought put into them. They were interesting. A lot of people had some love-hate feelings with them, but I think at the end they they kind of showed that they were pretty good. So shout out to the uh, the committee that put this together. Thank you guys. You know, I think by the end they became pretty routine. These mm -hmm. flags, so the, for the formula on these flags ends up being pretty straightforward. Um, We'll see what, what happens next year. Definitely glad to be... Definitely glad to be done, though. I didn't think, you know, when I joined the tournament, figured I'd play a couple races and be out. But, you know, yeah, I hear eventually you. figured out how to play them. Well, I'd, I'd say sorry that didn't work out, but, uh, you know, <laughs> congratulations for making it as far as you did. Yeah, got to win the finals one of these years. <laughs> well, I think our runners put on one heck of a race here. And uh, looking forward to what we've got coming up in the next week. Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, if I am remembering correctly, we'll have our bonus race coming up. That is open entry. Come one, come all. Hang out, do the bonus race, which is... Sort of our send-off to the Winter Tournament. Information about that is available in the Winter Tournament channel in the Discord. And then Sunday evening is the start of the Duck Boot Camp. You know I'm excited. Luffy, I'm sure you are too, as we get to teach these ducks all about the randomizer. Kicking it off with, you know, the, the, very, the very basics as we get into Fighter Week with our first set of flags. 
once we finish out that boot camp, we're going to launch right into the Duck Derby, our tournament for new players. And that is, you know, it's, I think, a beloved institution at this point where our new players get to have a tournament all to themselves. They're not going to have to stand up to all the veterans who have been doing this for years. And uh, it's a good time. So if you're interested, it's going to be Sundays and Wednesday nights starting this upcoming Sunday. goes six weeks long for the boot camp. And then the Duck Derby following that is a five-week. Usually we have two nights a week for races. We try to make it work for everybody's schedule. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, Luffy, if you want to do some shout-outs here, I suppose I should shout-out Giganaut, our tracker, Oslodo, <laughs> our, uh, our restreamer, and RPG Limit Break for letting us be here. Yeah. But, uh, Luffy, if you want to do some final thoughts and take us on home. Gotcha. Yeah. So come out and join us on Sunday, like Saracen said. Sunday nights, typically, we, we kind of do a little more, uh, we call it like 101 classes, teach you your fighter, teach you your, uh, you know, some of your basics. Uh, the Wednesday night class, I don't want to call them like advanced, but they call them like extra credits, some unique stuff in there that uh, is not completely beginner, but again, not too advanced where you're not going to be able to understand and pick it up. And we will be holding your hand every step of the way, uh, showing you how to play. A lot of us came up through the Duck program. Uh, a lot of us came up together. Uh, so maybe you are the next Fry Teeth or Pickles and Beer or, you know, Saracen. Who knows? You might be out there watch this game just saying hey this looks fun that's where most of us started so please come out and join us it's going to be a great time um <clears throat> you did thank Oslato and Giganaut. i'll thank him as well and rpg limit break for uh you know letting us borrow the channel and, and put this great show on tonight and the tournament staff for putting this all together sending out game three uh winner tournament congratulations pickles and beer our champion fry teeth second place bonus race saturday night don't miss it it's going to be a lot of fun we got some crazy stuff going on and with that we're going to send it off and say goodbye to another winter tournament saracen thank you for joining me tonight my name is luffy so ciao and chillax everybody final fantasy randomizer fam we gone <laughs>